So I wanted to know if more healthcare workers were going to choose the uh, leaving their jobs, quitting their jobs versus taking the vaccine. So I want to do a quick reading on that and see what that looks like. Hope everyone is doing great. I hope you looked at uh, Nancy Jean and I talking about her garden. It was very interesting to me. She's a very wise, wise individual. So let me see. Will more healthcare workers decide to leave their job versus getting the vaccine? Let's see. The uh, Four of Cups. And lastly, the Strength. Okay, so I'm looking at this and let's see, kind of interesting. I only have one major arcana card in this particular uh, deck. And so the, when we start off, we look at, first of all, the Ace of Swords to me is indicative of the vaccine. Here, this is what they've been thinking about. Um, this may be considered in the past position, but they've been thinking about taking this shot if they want to do this. They feel very forced to do this, okay? Very forced. Um, it, it's coming at them potent. It's coming at them strong. The tears of Yo tell me that there's a lot of people, you know, crying about it. Not actually crying, but when I say that, I mean like complaining about that they don't want to have this happen. They don't want this at all. But yet, here we are. And this is a major decision they know they're going to have to make. This is either my job or taking the vaccine. At one time, they felt like, you know, this is the family. We work together. We enjoy each other's company. We've bonded over good times and hard times. And yet... They want us to make this decision that could be detrimental to our family, our hospital unit, where we've got to pick a side. You know, rather be in a unified hospital or unified staff, we would have division. We'd have to pick a side. And this whole familyness of it, because this is a 10, is saying that that is going away because we've become divided over this this uh, vaccine. It's more like political than it is really health and safety. It's more like don't push it on me. Don't make me do something. And this would end our relationship. Right now they are they haven't really decided. Okay. This is the Two of Swords. And Two of Swords says that they are thinking about what they should do. In fact <clears throat> it's them thinking about the fact that they'd have to take two uh the, the initial vaccine and then the booster and then there may, I mean, the initial and the second and there may be even a booster. And it even looks like she's almost in a nurse's gear, you know, a nurse's outfit from in the day. And it's hard for the person, these medical workers, to make a decision on what to do. There's so much going around them and you can see in the background um, the waters are rough, they're rocky, there's, it's very tough. And those that are trying to say, maybe I don't want this, they almost as if they sit alone. They, they not really feeling like I'm absolutely right. They're torn about, should I take this? Do I keep my job? How do I survive on this? They are also really thinking, okay, this is a thinking card. It's a sword. Like, is this the right thought? Am I having the right thought? My mind needs to be clear to make the right decision. I know that it's important. I know it can affect my job and other people. And they almost have their heart covered. If you take a look, her heart chakra is covered. You know, even her legs are covered like her root chakra of safety. A lot of also don't want to be distracted from a lot of misinformation or any information, positive and negative. That's where they sit kind of stonewalled. Some are saying, I'll leave my job. And some are saying, I just don't know what I want to do. And then I have the Four of Cups. They ultimately feel like, okay, you know, if I have to leave my job, I'll leave my job. I don't want what's offered to me. But at the same time, everyone else doesn't want to, you know, in that facility or in the medical field, don't want to catch something from you either. 
there's a lot of uh, hurt and anger and disappointment. They feel like I'm an adult, I'm grown, I should be able to make my own decisions, and yet you're treating me like a child. But if you take a look at the card, it's really the some of the people in healthcare that are saying no, that are the ones that are acting like the spoiled brand and the hands are crossed and no, no, I'm not doing that, you can't make me do that. Because ultimately you have people that say, hey, this is for your own health and well-being, this is for our patients, it's a, for other staff, and they feel like, no, it's not worth it. I don't want to do it. I'm, they're, they're all over the place. If you take a look at both of these cards, <clears throat> this one has to do with their thinking. This one has to do with their feelings. So there are many people that say, go ahead and do it. And, you know, here, go ahead and do it. And then you got one that says, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that. But ultimately, do they all head for the heels? No, they do not. They have the strength card. Um, and this is the eight card. It's a powerful card. And this is almost as if the, the medical professionals or the hospitals or whatever who are in charge. You've got the infinity symbol here. It means they're always going to be in charge. They're always going to have a, a last say. And they're saying either you put your ego aside or put your, your own uh, misconceptions or what have you, fears, uh, whatever you're believing in that's incorrect, put it aside. We've got people to take care of. That's our number one concern. We are like the angels. We're the ones that help to save people. Um, so help us help you. They're saying don't don't kick up on us. Don't roar up on us. Find some inner strength in yourself. Because if you don't, then they can easily replace you. They're not afraid to replace anybody that feels like, mm, I don't think so. They don't have a problem with it. So... Uh, is everyone going to up and leave? No. But you do have people definitely in their in their mind trying to figure this out. Definitely in their, their feelings of what should I do. Not wanting to follow the directive. They've listened, listened to a lot of misinformation. And it's unfortunately for them that they've done that. Um, yeah. They... They are, they are, they are uh, thinking about their money. Okay, this is the Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles says they are thinking about their money. What is this going to do with me financially? Do I have enough savings to get me to something else? But they're really just lying to themselves, Seven of Swords. They really are lying to themselves because ultimately, if they leave that hospital or clinic or what have you, they'll only have to go to another one and still get the vaccine. It, it's not going to change at all. So it's best for them to do the strength card. Of course, they have to make their own decision. But I think right now it's a lot of empty threats and empty promises because they haven't even clearly made a decision what they're going to do with the two of swords sitting there. But anyways, I just want to take a quick peek at that. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.